Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another video. We're still here in Alamo Lake. This is actually our last morning and this morning I'm going to give you guys a, a catch and cook video. So yesterday we caught some fish and or Aiden and I caught some fish and we brought them back to camp and we filleted them. Or well, I didn't fillet, fillet them but my uncle filleted them because my filleting skills aren't that great. If you don't know how to fillet, definitely recommend that you learn or that you practice because uh, it is an art. Big time. It's a big time art. Like seriously, you should have seen me trying to do it. <laughs> um, anyway, we got some bass, and if you guys don't like to eat bass, well, I'm going to show you how to prepare bass and eat them today. Um, for those of you that do like to eat your fish, you know, when you keep them, then uh, this is a video for you. And if you guys don't, I mean, you guys can watch how I do it. You guys can see the product in the end and uh, decide if you guys want to try it or not, because it, it's pretty darn good, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so yeah, it's early in the morning. Not really, it's like 6.30. We got our ingredients right here. We have garlic salt, we have lemon pepper, we have lemons and oranges, we have cilantro, and we have green onions as well. And on top of that, we have foil paper for the grill and butter. Those are the ingredients that you're going to need today. Um, and that's pretty much it. We already have the fish laid out, so I'm gonna go get those, and I'm gonna lay it out, and I'm gonna show you guys how this is all done. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is get this foil paper. This is a, a Reynolds Wrap foil paper for the grill, but physically for the grill. Probably can't hear me. But you're gonna want to get a decent amount depending on how many fillets that you have. Here are our beautiful fillets of fish. So I'm gonna get a decent sized uh, piece of foil paper here. All right, boom, chakalaka. I like to double it up just in case, you know, stuff rips. Here you go. So now we have the foil paper. We're gonna lay out our fillets on here. We might do two different boats because essentially you're gonna this turns into a boat. on each other like this and then what you're going to want to do this part's actually kind of important right here uh, so you're going to want to take this and kind of fold it over boom and then again so that way you're you're folding it into a boat and you guys will see what i'm talking about here in a second and do this other side so now you guys got a little boat so i like to bring this in it doesn't really Rolling a doobie. There you go. <laughs> You're cool. All right, so now the ingredients. You got your garlic salt, basic Laurie's garlic salt. And uh, we're going to sprinkle it right across all the fillets. You can even get all up in there. All up in the juices, man. Boom. All right. This is a super simple recipe. I learned it from Rachel Ray. Just kidding. I don't remember why I seen this. But... I, I use lemon pepper, you don't have to, because you, you can use whatever spices you want. That's the cool thing about this, is that you could mix it up. What's that? That was a gas tank. <laughs> All right, I don't have a knife, but let me go get a knife. This is what we're gonna do, folks. To get this, we're gonna chop up some green onions right here. Now, I don't use this part of the onion, I use the back part as little chives. That's what I do. I usually cut the ends off, because they're kind of crusty. It's not a cutting board, this is for fish. Boom, boom, and boom. You probably just need like three. Take this right here, sprinkle all this out. Okay. Spread it all out, man. This is for flavor. And then get some cilantro. Usually I just pluck a little bit because it's kind of strong. And you just, uh, you know, spread it, spread it all out into there, man. So now you got your greens, you got your goods, and now you need your citrus right here. Got some lemons and oranges. Now you could put pineapple in it, you could um, put peaches, I don't, you know, you could do whatever you want. No rules to this. Now I'm gonna cut this orange, and I'm gonna cut slices. So there's a slice, there's a slice, oh, there's a terrible slice, and boom, there's another slice. I'll probably cut a couple more. All right, here's another slice, Boom. we'll do one more. Same thing with the lemon, guys. We're gonna cut the lemon into slices. Boom, boom. I'm not a chef, so excuse my, excuse my French. Okay, so now we got 
we got some lemon here, folks. We're gonna dick it in there. Uh, st oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna stick it in there, just like so. So now it looks like this. And the last step is just get your butter. Whatever kind of butter you want. If you want that diabetic butter, go get that diabetic butter. If you want that healthy butter, go get that butter. Uh, so we're gonna open this and we're just gonna put a few slices in there. Well, meanwhile, the fire's over there and it's getting nice and hot. So that way the coals, the coals are gonna cook this essentially. That's why you guys need that good foil paper. Cause trust me, I've tried it with the normal foil paper and it didn't really work. So here's a slice of butter. And we're just gonna put it in there now. It's a super simple recipe. I usually do like a, a few slices into here. So now, you have all your ingredients in here. You have your boat kind of boated up. What you're gonna do is just fold it up together until you, until this whole thing closes. And then after this whole thing closes, you seal it and your coals are hot and they're ready to go. Then that's when you, that's when you set this on top. And then you only cook it for about 10 minutes because it, it cooks really fast, it's crazy. So, Fold this right here. So boom, like this. I use this. Boom. Make sure, make sure there's no holes in it. It's very key. I don't want any holes in this. Otherwise, all the steam will be let out. Because essentially, this fish, this fish is gonna cook in its own steam. So that way, all those juices from the orange, the lemon, the cilantro, the the green onions and then all your uh, all your little spices uh, that you put in there like garlic salt and lemon pepper uh, they all just merge together and mix and it'll cook in its own juice and it's really cool and it tastes super good <laughs> yeah that's pretty much it so now you got your boat just like this ready for action folks ready to set sail into the flaming flames of hell yeah, you just let it cook for about 10 minutes i'm gonna wait for the coals to get a little hotter i'm gonna prepare the, these fillets right here um, and then I'll put them on the fire and I'll, I'll show you guys when I'm all done. So uh, stay tuned and I'll get to that right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the fish is ready to be pulled off. I can hear it sizzling. Um, I'm gonna put it right here on the table and then I'm gonna open it up for you guys and show you the final product. We got one. And number two, we'll set this dude right here. So uh, let's open it up and show you guys. I hope it's ready. Oh yeah, look at that, son. Ooh, look at that. Ah. Fall off the bone, man. I don't know why it took me so long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, damn it! Gosh, dude, the dude, it's hot, guys. See all the all the flowness in there. That's from the butter, the lemon. You'll taste it right now. I have my taste testers come out here and you know, taste test it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got my my peeps right behind me. Oh, they're gonna taste the fish. And uh, yeah, whenever you guys are ready. <laughs> it's steamy. Icy. Mmm. Wow. It's good. You can taste everything in there. Cilantro, onion, especially the orange. Yeah. Yeah, I could taste the orange. It's amazing. There you guys go. Boom, chakalaka. Thank you guys for staying uh, tuned into this little catch and cook video. I've never done a video like this, and I know you guys have wanted me to do so. Um, we've never cooked fish like this, so we've always put it right here. We always use this thing right here, guys. El disco, we put on the fire, we put some oil in there, we put the fish in there. But uh, that's not the case here now. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you guys can maybe, like, take your dad out, take your mom out, take your parents out, take your family out, catch some fish, cook them. If you guys don't eat fish, well, that's... This is a video not for you, but if you're watching, thank you. For those of you that do keep fish every now and then, this is a different way to cook fish. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So thank you guys all for watching. I'll catch you in the next in the next one, I guess. This is the end of the little Alamo series. And um, and yeah, fish on, homies. Fish on. I'll see you guys later. Peace. <laughs>